There's no manual that tells you how to be a mom. Once you have children, your whole life does a 180. Everybody has the same issues. The idea was to create this forum, a community of moms that have a place to share their stories. This is our story. And it's the story of every woman who is a mom. For a little rescue puppy, I'm going into what I don't even know are like weird seizures. But I guess it's part of life, and this is what mommies do. Broken toes and bee stings. You carry the emotional highs and lows for your family every day. But in your quest to give everything to your kids, do you feel like you've lost the old you? Are you trying to do it all but coming up short? I feel like I've lost. Um like a section of time. It's never about you anymore. Oh, actually, I feel like I've gained my personal identity. I'm Haley's mom now. That's really the most important thing to me. Today, we talk with mother of one and life coach Erica Ferriston about tools we can use to accept our new identity as we explore the question, are you in a mommy rut? What is a life coach? A life coach supports a person in achieving specific goals. Like, what would you consider a mommy rut? Well, it's when you're in that place yeah. of feeling discontent. Maybe you're um, cooking dinner and the husband says, oh, I think the spaghetti is a little bit overdone, and you take you the throw pot the thing and out. throw it on him. <laughs> and, like, you know, like these really big overreactions. <laughs> Why? It's perfect. Yeah. I was so happy to embrace my new life as a mom. At yeah. first, I stopped working, and at the beginning, I really loved it. Slowly, I started to find that my identity was a little bit lost. Okay. I didn't feel as though I could have adult conversation, that I was only talking about my husband and my children. I just didn't feel that sort of right. Did you feel like that? No, I had kind of a little bit of a different issue. I think that my issue was I was so determined to be a stay-at-home mom, work, keep my old life. These kids were going to fit into my life. Right. And that I just thought to myself, what am I doing? Why? What do I need to prove to myself? For you, Jen, it sounds like you were determined to take on the perfect mom identity that you kind of lost yourself on the way. And for you, it sounded like you were so determined to hang on to this old identity that, you know, you lost out on incorporating this new identity Absolutely. that came with this change. How do we get out of this mommy rut? When you realize, I'm in a rut, I'm in a fog, the first step is recognizing that. This mm -hmm. does feel uncomfortable, but it's okay. One of the things that I did which is a coaching tool. I took a piece of notebook paper and I wrote down, what am I losing and what am I gaining? Well, that's, that's great because yeah. it really clarifies for you. I'm losing, you know, regular sleep. Me, I'm still the new mom, right? right? But what am I gaining? Well, I'm getting this relationship with this person. The gain is kind of outweighing more of the losing because of the acceptance I've given to my new life. If you're losing, you know, regular sleep because you're feeding the baby every three hours, you're taking up naps, you know. If you were a person that used to prepare, you know, gourmet meals mm -hmm. for dinner, let that go and, you know, instead have a system of the husband brings home the prepackaged food. This is temporary. It doesn't feel this like it's temporary not when you're in it. It doesn't feel like it, but it's a perspective that is, you know, reality you that can support that. you. Yeah. The magic word to supporting yourself through this time is temporary. Good luck on getting out of your own fog. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you seem to be doing fantastic. Being a modern mom is a constant balancing act. Nobody can be the perfect parent, wife, and friend all at the same time. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, keep in mind it's temporary. And with your new identity as a mom comes many new adventures. Remember, we're all in this together. This episode is brought to you by Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower Foamer. It's more like nature test your limits. Hi, guys. Hold on. Oh, you got a boo-boo? You okay? Be okay for just a couple more minutes? Yeah. Mommy, mommy, mommy. 
Dad's his pen. We can't take his pen. Okay.